Well, hello, 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 and welcome. This is Julian with the Jewel Design, and we are back. Uh, so, if you're seeing this, it means you guys were like, yes, I want to see more. Let's decorate. Let's work on this. And sort of like, you know, by uh, Subby's request, um, we're continuing on with this. Um, or I'm doing this for nothing. And <laughs> you guys are just going to see the final reveal. But yeah, no, if you're seeing this, it means um, I got enough of you to respond and say yes. You know, we wanted to see this two-page spread uh, continue to develop. So thank you all for very much for joining me, liking, loving, commenting, hitting the notifications, you know, uh, becoming one of my subbies, um, whether you did it recently or you've been here for a while. I really, really do appreciate everything you're doing. If you are new and you just came across me, you see something called a two-page spread. It's not your standard journaling moment, um, but um, you can always link back, which I will do at the end of this one, link back to where we started with this one and talking about how this came about. But I just have a hardback book, written eight and a half by 11 page, you know, written uh, notebook. And I've decided to make it my idea book, make it my um, sort of journal spread book when I just want to play with leftover scraps or um, parts of, you know, or work with a kit that I would normally not make a full journal out of. So I just printed some fun pages and it's just another way to use it and just sort of play because sometimes this is, you know, you can't do all this in a journal. The journal's too too small or um, and whatnot. It's just a fun, creative way to use something. So I really appreciate you joining along. If you are new, make sure you go down below where it says show more or under the upside down triangle to get into the descriptions because it does have my link to my Etsy shop and it also has a link to all my social media. So one link brings up a page and it shows you everything I'm involved in from Crafters of a Jewel Design, which is my Facebook uh, private group for those of you who want to share what you've been working on, um, to my Instagram, my Facebook, uh, buy me coffee, back to YouTube, the Etsy shop, everything is there that I'm attached to and try to keep up on a daily basis. So I really appreciate that, you know, you come and join along. If you're not an Instagram person, then definitely, you know, click over to Grafters of a Jewel Design. Um, I do right now have a Jewel Design Facebook page, but it unlinked from Instagram. And so now it doesn't automatically update on Facebook. So my private um, Facebook page under just Jolene Burt has all my stuff for Facebook right now. So I'm going to have to make an adjustment, I think, in that link tree. So thank you guys all for reminding me. Um, I'm going to have to make an adjustment, I think, on my link tree to my personal page. If you are a Facebook person um, and not an Instagram person, you know, you want to be able to see what's going on. And right now it's, it is linking to my personal um, because, I don't know, a dual design just it updated when I fi fixed my phone and I didn't realize and it disconnected the Facebook because Jolene Burke created the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not happy that Instagram and Facebook are connected. Like, they're the same company now. I don't know. So, either way. Um, but the link tree does link you to everything. So that um, you can find your preferred social media to keep in, keep up to date with what I'm up to. Whether I'm crafting something or whether I'm design, you know, designing digital uh, pages for you guys. For your journaling needs and your memory keeping needs. So, today is definitely a part two to more of a memory keeping type feel. Um, I love making these spreads to show off like Halloween or birthday weekend or something. What this is going to be, no idea. Right now it's just fun. So we're going to decorate today. As you see, I have things laid out to sort of elevate what we did last week. Um, last week we added in this lovely um, journal card flip open uh, that had a paper clip on it um, to keep the page over envelope um, in it. And oh, I didn't, I didn't glue it down. I wonder why I didn't glue it down. Oh, maybe because I kept debating. I'm like, why isn't that glued down? That is so funny. I'm like, why is it not glued down? Oh, I think, like, yeah, I kept debating on what to do with this. I really did. Um, and I do prefer, though, the other way around. So anyway, this is a um, ephemera, you know, holder for all your little stuff. If there's something in your secret note, whatever. Um, I love these things. They're great. I used one on a stackable envelope just the other day. Um, and to where you could fold it open and have an, have an ephemera, you know, pocket in it unexpectedly. So that's fun. Okay, that's that's all done. But I made it sort of a page over um, concept held in by a paper clip. So you can write underneath it, store stuff inside it, open it up. There's a store and we're going to add a, a little label over here today. Make that quick and easy. This opens up. No idea. It's just a cute flip open. I uh, will decorate that up. 
Um, I did, because I got going, I forgot I was double checking my video and started designing and went, oh my gosh, you're supposed to watch me. We're going to glue down the, um, make sure I'm in camera because this is what I'm worried about. Okay. Um, we're going to glue down this butterfly just right to where we can make it a tuck. We're going to, I folded a journal card in half. We'll make it a tiny little book. Um, right for right now, we'll decorate the front, uh, cause the back is definitely gorgeous. We'll decorate this little front piece here and we'll put a few, maybe little pieces of scrap papers in here and make it a little journal card. So we'll glue that down. Uh, this one I did glue down. I totally, you know, we were, I got excited and was double checking my video and started going along. So, ah, took one of her pockets, glued it down and then folded down her journal card to match. And so that way the backside is now going to be a pocket. And then we're going to put um, one of my little cat, my little mini calendar cards in there. And we're going to decorate up this little tag and we're going to stick it in there also. So that is the ordeal. Now, 10 to 1, I'm not going to get all this done, but you know, um, it is a little tight right there. So I have to keep an eye on that. I have to really keep an eye on that when I'm doing this. Eek. Hmm. Yeah, I made the trim a little bit more. I did notice that not much fit inside her pockets. Nothing that she made at the time really fit into the pockets. The journal cards don't fit into the pockets. Um, maybe if she has, I don't know if she has some smaller stuff. I don't even know if I printed out the whole kit. I know I printed out some things. No clue. I don't know if I have the whole kit or not, but, um, hopefully the link I sent you was helpful. You could see everything she does. Um, but you know, all right. So uh, that's going to be there. Now this was, I took two of her tags and they were side by side. So I just folded it down, glued it together and I'm using it as a cute little page, like corner tuck page um, marker, uh, you can sort of, that way you can see where it's marked, and I still have to put a tab on the other side, um, I think this time I'm going to put a tab on the top instead of the sides, because the other two are on the sides, oh, but I wasn't sure how I was storing it, I want to put it on the side, but really, I don't have any room for it, huh, I'll have to decide on that, unless I put the tab on this side like I've done, and this guy goes over here to keep it closed, I don't know if he'll keep it closed, though, Let's see. Ugh, get it over. There we go. Yeah, it actually does sort of keep it closed. So maybe we'll do it that way and I'll put the tab over here. Since I can't really get it over that and there's nothing on this corner. So maybe we'll do it that way. Okay, we'll put that there and this over here to remind me. Ha ha. But it's cute either way. It doesn't really matter which way you put it. Um, it is really cute. So I like the I didn't I always like using the flags in different ways. From making the paper clips to in this case I said glued in it's a cute little um over the cover, over the corner, bookmark. That's what I'm trying to go for. So we're going to add doily and a label here. Um, I have to do something about these. When we were so adamant about hiding the hinges into the pages for the big ones, I didn't hide these guys. Now I've been known to either use paper that blends into it, I've layered over it, done a couple of different things. So we're going to add just sort of layers and words to these corners, make it look like a cluster. So it's not so obvious that it's a hinge. Um, this was supposed to be just a piece of paper underneath folded in, but then you saw the bottom and I was like, well, what do I do? Do I put this on the bottom? Do I cut it off? And I do have another thing. Now, if I was going to glue this down and make it just paper, then I was going to cut off one of the tabs and use it as like a little header because it looks weird just sitting there floating sort of bugs me, um, personally. So I think instead, and so I don't lose any aspect of this paper, we are going to put another pocket down here and we're just going to tuck it in and let it stick out of the top a little bit in the corner and that's okay with me. Helps add to keep adding to the layer issue. And then we'll make a flower for here and I'm thinking, as much as I hate to cover it up, we're going to put another label up here for some writing space. Um, maybe I'll find one of my tags and we'll add, we'll add, a, we'll add a ticket to this. We'll, we're going to cluster some areas up here um, that'll just be covered up. So let's see how far we get. I have glitter I have puffy stuff I have all my ribbons out so let's get going because I know I have a, literally less than an hour now um because I like talking I can't help it as you'll find out if you're new to me I do talk um sometimes a lot sometimes not enough who knows it's a little bit of everything so gosh where to start <laughs> easy stuff I guess now this is white and there is no distressing on it and I'm debating on whether or not to just Bring it down a little bit on the edges. This came to me pre-cut, so it's not like I cut it. It is just what it is. And I don't even know. It's very glossy, so I don't even know. Oh, let me do it a little bit. Let's see if we can drop the white just a little bit. It's very obvious it's new and modern. It's not something old. But I love the imagery. I mean, the image might have been at some point, but it was a cute die-cut thing. And 
it's all good. So how are we all doing? I hope last week was a good week for you. Um, this should be airing on Tuesday. And um, so I had my reveal yesterday and last night, I should say. And then um, you know, we have a design craft with me today. And um, it's attempting to. And so hopefully you got to see that. If not, please go back and look at it. I will click it. I guess I will put that at the end of this one. I will sh bunch, bunch you back to the reveal maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this turns out, whether I'm going to, which, what I lead you to next, right? An old, a new, hmm, who knows? If you like these kind of layouts, they, um, the idea did come from, for me, it came from my porch prints, so I'm not taking credit for this. Um, she did a notebook, sketchbook, two-page spread last October. Um, I think she did a Christmas one right after it, too. I think she did a Christmas page, and she did like a, a fall one, and she did a Christmas one. I don't know if she's done any since. I haven't really noticed any. Um, but then again, I am so busy, so. Hmm. Um, but she did a fall one, and it made me think. And so I couldn't wait to do some. Couldn't wait to do something. And then um, came across Shabby Dabby Doodah's um, Halloween um, kit from last year. Or last year I did it. And um, it just, I don't know, it resonated with me. And I like the idea of just playing with a kit in a short term span so here's what I did I uh, did a fall one and then uh, our Halloween one and then I've done um, one with my touch of romance and so I've just been I don't know just love it it's a great ex like break from the big old journals can't just do it like do it's doing ephemera but it's putting it down somewhere to memory keep I guess is what I feel because it is you're finding a way to utilize that so I did this right ta-da we can tuck a little something in there and I'm utilizing that and there's still room for my tab. Okay. So that's all good. So that was easy, but what's in it needs to be worked on. Um, here we need to do, so it's a little decor stuff. Some of the stuff's really simple, not a big deal. I mean, it's just putting a label, a tab, a something somewhere. And these are stickered. Now my labels happen to be on sticker paper. Um, so some of my, um, cutouts here and it is very white. Yeah, I feel like it needs to come down just a little bit. I'm like, oh, it needs to come down a little bit. So hopefully, and I noticed last week, I was definitely, I keep doing this, I dropped that down a little bit. Sorry. We were talking about the envelope and where to put it, and you couldn't really tell what I was talking about, which, yeah, the envelope, oh, I can't believe I missed it. But, you know, we have all this little stuff going on, and I'm okay with it. I don't know what I would have done. I did bring that down because I just don't think it was just too white. And I want to put something down here, blend in, keep clustering, put the label there. This is great because this is on sticker paper, so easy peasy. Of course, if I get far enough, I will make sure everything's in view and show it off. Okay, so I did glue this on. Just glued the top, left it loose for whether I want to put something underneath it, right on the back. I could add more papers underneath it if I wanted, make it a little bit more notebooky. Notepad, not notebook, notepad. That would be more of a notebook. I think we're going to, I'll find some random um, papers that I have left over and make just a couple pages, two or three pieces, fold them in half. Um, maybe use Tim Holtz's little tiny attacher type of deal through the top, maybe into the middle. And, um, you know, do a little washi and just make a tiny little book. I love making itty bitty journals. I can't help it. I, I now know where my daughters get their issues from and where they end up doing little stuff. Okay, so, yeah, there's not much on this side. I feel like there's a lot on this side, but not really. It's just that little bit. So we'll do this in a moment, but I wanted to get the inside sort of done and out of the way. I went ahead and found some of my new words. Um, I have a grungy, um, vertical grunge typeset word sheet. It's definitely a little darker. The words are reversed. Um, and the words are both, like, things like vintage and beautiful and just, you know, but there's also things like distressed, manly, leather, um... I do have a variety, a T of, oh, I did that backwards now, that's okay. Um, a variety of interesting words that are both, you know, woodland, forest, leather, manly, um, distressed, inked, things like that that sort of lent to the darker need or the darker want. Um, but at the same time, I had things like vintage and beautiful and um, kindness and all of that that we use. So it's about 30 words. Um, and then 20 of them are repeated. So you get 50 words in that sheet. So I put that in too far. Hmm. Shoot. Well, we'll do it at an angle then. All right. So we have a little cluster here on the end. So it doesn't look like I just threw 
something on there. I debated about covering it with more journal cards, taking a matching journal card and leaving it just a flat flip out decorative. But I don't have a lot of writing space in here, I realize. So if I wanted to write and journal something, I only have that pink sheet, that little pink sheet. And then that was like it, like the, the top half of the, you know, this and that. I could write a little note, very little note here, um, but not so much inside unless I added paper to it at some point, which I could. I could add a piece of paper, draw something down, glue it down. It becomes an automatic place, but I'd have to create one. So I decided to leave these as a writing space because I wasn't sure. As you can see, oh my gosh, it's bunching up. Um, it's not what we expected. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. Now on this side, at first I, my thought was to use some flowers. I had some, um, I have a flower sheet, uh, sticker sheet as I would call it, of floral botanicals I was first starting with. Um, things I'd used in my traveler's notebooks, my original uh, Fifty Shades of Purple kit, um, which that, yeah, yeah, that one disappeared. Um, I had to remake that one all together. Um, but my traveler's notebooks had roses in it. My traveler's, uh, not notebook, but my traveler's kit has some gorgeous roses in it. Um, I have a couple purple wallpaper. Um, I have a purple, I have a, I said wallpaper? Yeah, I have a purple, teal, pink, whatever wallpaper kit um, that has flowers in it. So like I had a bunch of things that I made a sticker sheet out of. You can get a, there's a sticker sheet. I think I saw, I don't know if I put it, I think I put it under a, a fussy cuts now, but I have a sticker sheet that have flowers on them. So that's where that came from. And I distressed it because I didn't, again, didn't ah, want that super whiteness. I wanted to dull that down. And then this is delightful for my pink. Um, I have a pink kit, a, a large ephemera pink word sheet um, that had vertical and I think some horizontal. I don't remember. It may have all been, for, it was like my second vertical sheet altogether, but it had the pink uh, spackled, you know, background to it. So go look at my word ephemera category. There's like 20 plus sheets, I think, of words. Um, and some are half and half, some are vertical and half, half vertical, half horizontal. Some are all vertical, you know, fashionable. I don't know. I, I got a number of them. I know my vintage typeset is my highest. Um, so that, it just sort of shows a little green behind it. But again, I can totally write on it. It has some decor. I don't feel as much like it's um, a, a hinge. And it that that's that, that pink avocado paper. You can get rolls of it at your uh, neighborhood, like, um, paint store. They have a paint, Hollister paint, we call it Hollister paint, uh, but a paint shop that has, you know, it's only paint and, and, and remodel, and it has that pink paper, so, uh, pink avocado paper, so I love that it matches this well enough, but it looks like a cluster on the cards, and not so much a hinge now, it doesn't look so hingy, it doesn't look so hingy, is that a good word? No, probably not, probably a really bad word, I'm like, that doesn't sound right, hingy, um, okay, here we go again, oh, it's right in front of me, see, no, I'm just, I'm off camera. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I move it up and then I'll forget to move it back down. But I am simply just scoring the lines in the pocket to make it a little easier to um, fold. Offset it just a little bit. So hopefully I'm going down that line. And the last one, the, the other pocket, I let, I can see a lot of the lines. And I'm like, eek. But there's, like, I can do it to a point with mine. I can fold mine almost without having to do this. But I think this is going to be a little bit more um, effective. I know I do it with my four flat envelopes. I totally sit there and do this and then just trim the edges of the pockets just to make sure it all folds well. But I'm really excited, you know, about the new kit. Um, it ha I think it has some really pretty images and pages. Uh, the ephemera is, you know, pretty much my standard ephemera. Um, if you watched last week, then near the end, we mentioned about what our March buy me a coffee freebie kit will be so i guess you're gonna have to go back and look to see what that freebie kit is entailing for march so you can come along and you've decided to you know follow me on buy me a coffee and decided to become one of my members very much like a patreon thing um then you know you you have an idea of what you'll be getting uh this month is still out there it is loving it's, it's, a, it's a forever freebie kit but it doesn't say like happy valentine's on it it's a great little greeting card um when you fold the, the big journal card in half it is a you know a beautiful blank journal a blank um journal card or a blank greeting card on the inside and you have a pretty envelope to match and it has some fussy cuts and a little february calendar and all that great and all that jazz as they say 
So what I want to decide is do I hide it? I didn't. Yeah, that's not hide it much because eh, what's the point? Well, what's the point of hiding it? It's sort of nice when you have all these flaps so you get to see what the next thing is underneath it. I probably should have distressed it, but that's okay. I don't think I distressed the other one. No, I did get that one done. Of course I did. And then, yeah, these are a little tight. Um, I need the other one. I need to get in here and make sure that the, see, the only thing is I have a hard time getting the corners down and, but opening it up at the same time. I had the problem with that top one too, and I have to go back and look. I may have to, once I'm off camera, figure out how to get that glue down and not, it's popping up, but I'm not sure really why. Yeah, that problem when I was doing the calendar, the cover, I was trying to get the pen into that little hinge and of course kept ungluing it because the pen was too tight, it was too big. My thing ended up too tight, I was so bummed. I was like, man. Okay, so I do need to fold this down a little bit more, just fine. That went a little right on the whole thing. I didn't want to have to distress it. I really wanted to be able to enjoy, you know, a note space. There we go. And I could still, is that all the way down? I could still see, because, you know, that bottom, I guess it's all the way down. That's about right. So I do want to move it out a little bit more now that I think about it so that you could see it on this end. Well, this side's just been one of those days where I was like, mmm, that's okay. And then we have this under here. We're going to have this over here. But it's all right. You can see a little something. And this, I think this is definitely going to help a lot, actually, keeping this side down. Because I know the other side is really temperamental. So it's a nice little corner corner flap. <laughs> and then, of course, it wants to, once I get this in here longer, it's got to, the weight of it is going to help a little bit. The only downside to all the glue, it sort of help, sort of bunches everything up. There we go, it's helping. And it's weighted, and because they want to flap open, it's, you know, it's cocking it. That's okay. All right, what's next? Well, let's line, and let's just, I don't want to cover up, the, what I'm trying not to do is cover up the word fox glove, because it is the kit, and sort of an angle, which is a round. You really can't angle it, can you? I like, no matter what you do, the same amount of stuff. So we're just going to go halfway. Since I don't know what I'm putting here, I don't think anything's going here at this time. It may be a photo. Depending on the keepsake, I may, um, sorry, I keep looking at it and then I can't figure out what I was doing. Oh, there we go. Um, as a keepsake, if I make it a keepsake page, memory keeping page, um, that a photo may be necessary. And so which one's bigger? Does it, I don't know. It won't go quite as wide. All right. Now, of course, I cut it at an angle, because when don't I cut things at an angle? Mm. I went one way and then shifted a little bit when I was cutting. I watched myself do it, but I wasn't sure. There we go. Oh, so how was your weekend? So as we is, this when this airs, I am actually on vacation again with the girls. Um, they are on a winter break. We had our Christmas, whatever, first winter break. I don't know what they call this anymore. Winter vacation, winter break. It's only the winter break, which makes no sense because we just got back. Um, but instead of a bunch of three-day weekends, which I think are more productive, to have four-day classes, really, um, and a three-day and three-day weekends, um, I think is a little and like learning-wise, I think it's better. But I think for parents and daycare and you know all that stuff, um, constant Fridays off makes it really hard. So they felt, you know, our district felt a whole week off was easier. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. I don't care. I'm home. I To me, it's just a week. This is a very odd week. It's just simply for us time to sleep in, do crafts, do videos. They can, you know, get caught up in gaming, um, you know, whatever we want to do. It's a weird week and it's always not always, you know, best weather. So it's not like it's... um you know, let's go out. And I think once we took the kids up to Strawberry Hill, which is up in the Sierra Nevadas for us, and, um, you know, we took them, like, toboggan, or sledding? Sledding. So, um, my oldest got a kick out of it. She was totally like, yeah, let's go down in the big tubes and let's go for it. Little one went, I don't think so. Like, went all the way up there and then flipped, and I couldn't go down it. I don't like heights or the feel of falling or coming out of anything, like, roller coaster wise So, I had to trek all the way back down with a little one down the hill. 
The climbing up was okay, but coming down was just it was just as crazy. And I was like, man. <laughs> so we played on the lower ends, and you know, but of course we paid to have them her go up there, and I was like, right on further, you know. Um, hello, you know. No, that's not what I want. I hate to be covering up the postcard stuff, but you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna go here. It opens up. You have a spot to do a photo or something. We have writing. We have the ability to either put a photo on the back of this and more writing. Let's get these down a little bit. But yeah, I think we we were getting one of those record years where we were getting a lot this year. Um, we got a lot of snow, and uh, so we went up there, and it was good. It was just right, you know, just the right amount, and drove up there, played for the day, and I think came home the same day. I don't think we spent the night anywhere. I don't think we did. I think we made it a, a day, a whole day track. It's one of the last, I think one of the last visits, one of the last things we were able to do before um, cancer set in. And we were like, oh, you can't, you know, your hips can't move. What am I talking about? Because three years ago we went and did the whole, um, his hip was trying to bug him and we went to Tahoe. That was great. That was freezing cold lake water, which, oh my God. Again, it was one of those, luckily one of those years. It may have been the same year. No, could have been. We had a lot of snow, enough snow to do the a whole thing, but we had so much snow three years ago, going on four, I guess, four seasons ago, that we went to Tahoe and it was in June, it was Father's Day weekend, and there were still patches of snow hidden within the hills. The water was super, the lake was full, and it was freezing. I don't even know how the girls stayed in it, but they had like, they were blue, totally blue when we were done. That was the fun part. Um, it was not bad during the day. It got down into the 40s during the during the night. The girls were fine. They were paddled in. And me and Steven froze to death. Oh my gosh, we did not bring enough. Like we had the mattress and the and a sheet and a bl big old blanket. But like, oh my god, you wore all your clothes. You didn't want to move. It was so cold that night. I thought, what were we thinking? Oh my god, <sighs> it was terrible. But during the day, he could go in the lake and he could numb the poop out of his hip, and um he could actually, you know, function for a while, but we couldn't walk very far. We were big, high, we were, when we take them out, you know, we, we'd hike for hours, you know, and he couldn't go very far. So like the lake would numb it, which was great, but I don't know, sleeping at night, it was not good. It was a different type of cold. It was like, oh man, you know, now this one, I'm not going to distress too much in the sense of, I don't want it too dark. Cause this one we do want to definitely write on. But I want to take it down the Take down the white just a little bit. Sticker paper or label paper, you can't quite pick a color on that. And I did not put any color behind these so that way you could, you know, print them on anything you wanted and you can put them on cream paper. You can put them on whatever you want. Okay. And what are we doing here? Let's see. Where do I want to go? So I know I need to do make a flower for this. I think we can just put that up. I know I want, I'm starting to want layering. I want to add some things over areas roughly so that we have some things and I wanted that's those but what did I do with those yeah I just had them out the other day I cut them all up and I put them somewhere did I put them in here yes okay I'm like I know I cut them up the other day and I was like I am so tired of looking at the sheet you see here is all like if I wanted to keep the coloring I could do that I know I'm adding some red flowers to the other side and that wouldn't be a bad extension of adding some more cut like red and pinks to this little purple area under the beige that's too pink that's black and white mm. that's also pretty if I wanted something lighter but that one's upside down hmm. there's that one just to bring some of the red pink over here again uh that one's really pretty too. I sort of like that one too. It's not the same flowers, which is sort of nice too, that we have a different set of, I have that flower in something, but I don't think I have it in my tickets. I don't think I use that one in my tickets. I have lilies, I have roses. You know, I don't have, I don't have that purple one. I have it in a, I think I have it in a sticker, but I don't have it anywhere else. Let's do that one because it's the same yellowy tones as the other side. So we'll add a ticket on the tickets. Underneath the label, and I'm going to put some glitter over a spot. I couldn't remember why I kept putting this over with my stuff. Now I know why. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Let's see what else. So, yeah, anyway, um, we don't do much usually in February. I just saw pictures, though, like three years ago. 
four years ago. Um, around here we had snow. Um, almost four years. I think it's four years ago. We had snow down into our hill, into our hills behind us. So we drove up there to where we could get out and touch it if we wanted to. Didn't have to go very far. That was sort of cool. Not that we could play in it because it's all on private property. But I'm like, can't play on it because it's on private property. But we could drive up there and like, oh, look, it's right there. Isn't that cool? Which for our area, that's a shocker because we don't, you know, we're not a town of actual um, snow. You know, it's not that kind of, not yet. Oh, no, here we go. Okay. So we're going to sort of right on top of everything. I love this. I found this. It had a pin. I think it was one of my, one of these guys. I want to say it came on. Came on something like this. I saw the color and couldn't help myself. Had to hold on to it, right? So we're just going to tuck that in there. But, I don't know. I feel like I need to trim. I still need to, oops. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's still trim this down a little bit more, which I hate to do because it does mean I lose all that lovely, yummy distress. So we'll just redistress it because I simply need it to fit in that box and fit in that thing without any issues. I can't have it keep getting caught up. We'll just re-ink it really good. So we're off this week, and so um, I will probably definitely, it gives me a good time to do more um, videos, get caught up. The downside is you do all your videos in like a day or two for the next couple of weeks. There's not much to talk about. It's sort of a bummer. So I almost hate to do too many videos all in one shot. Now unless I'm working on a project and I'm just like, well, it is what it is and I've got to do it. Because when you're on a roll, you're on a roll. But hopefully, um, I'll get March's buy me a coffee freebie done. I should say freebie perk. Because it's not only free, you are paying for the membership. I'm like, mm, you're paying for the membership. But I want to um, put a little hole there. But, you know, I'm trying to reward and thank you guys for you know coming along so we need i want to do something so i'm oop, i'll be stoked to maybe get that done this week so that it's ready to go because you know if it means it's the 20th or 21st of february that we only have seven more days and we're into march it won't take long which they got yeah, so funny get this week off and then we get what the last first week of april off for easter vacation. Someone I'm sort of shocked that they actually put the word Easter vacation up on the billboard for one school. I've always put spring break on there because that's totally what it is. Because I figured Easter is a little on the point. Just like they really don't like saying Christmas break. <laughs> I was like, well, holiday break, holiday vacation, whatever you want to call it. I'm sorry. I don't know. We were off for two weeks for the end of the year for the holiday, you know. It's holiday break, winter break, spring break or, or Easter break. Aye, aye, aye. All of it. Okay. Now, I don't know if I want to hole punch it. I may just want to put some lace across the top. I think I'll just fold lace up here, which I have my favorite lace to do that with. I like taking this little guy. Now, I could either glue it down or I can staple it down. If I staple it down, I feel like I have to put something on it. If I just glue it down, it's clean. So, we'll glue it down with the so hopefully this is working, and I'm in camera, which I'm probably not. I never am. My lighting looks a little weird. Again, I'm at, on Vivid, and it looks weird on my thing. It looks okay in one area, and then I see it in another. I just think it's my phone. I know when I viewed it on the computer screen, it looked great. Eek, 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 eek. Downside of this is that it is like Gorilla Glue and everything else, that it takes a moment to dry. Oh. We're going to go here, because I don't need it for the moment. I'm going to, like these cute little guys, let's see if this works, and not glue itself to it. But we'll do that for a moment, since the back is glued down and now I have a nice little pocket. We're going to let that sit up there, because what I want to do is just put cute little things in there, and we'll put it inside the pocket. All right, this one, oh, I hate to fussy cut that right now, shoot. I'm debating on adding a layer but the problem is I'm going to get too thick because I'm going to get hard to get in. But I'm thinking a layer and a layer and a layer and a layer. We're just going to do a very haphazard cut on purpose because I want it sort of jaggedy, messy. 
doesn't have to be perfect. Um, weird angle. I just want some layers. Let's do it this way, and then we'll put this flower concoction on top. Bring some purple and the oranges into it. But now I need to just I need to cut it better. Sorry, guys. I was trying as much as I could, like sort of out and prepped. But um, these this this guy comes from uh, one of my kits that didn't sell, and so I just put it. You know, now I have all these lovely things. Yes, I'm off the cage again. I'm sorry. I don't not like having little pieces of paper on my work. It drives me insane. So I'm literally cutting right over my little side trash thing. Cool thing with the um, work box is I had the option to buy like a um, cup holder and um, canvas bag attachment. And the canvas bag is, you know, holds your garbage. And then um, it has like pen slots and um, I put my scissors, my pens, things like that on the, on the side of it, but it gets heavy. So I knock it off all the time. So right now it's mostly garbage and pens and my uh, scissors. So it's the only two things that have to stay on there. Because more time not, times than not, I knock the thing off. It's really annoying. But really, this, the clasps aren't great on it. It's one of those things where I wish I could, like, I could keep the, I could totally keep the cup holder thing on it because you know my water's right here with me or my coffee or whatever but the bag itself for the trash but then what do I do like well, I guess I put one on the, on the foot of my or at my feet but more than likely I think it's gonna end up on the floor so we're gonna try to carefully distress that so it's not so white I think with the green behind it we have this which definitely needs to be distressed this was one of those things where I had paper on the back side and I made big circles out of it. So I have a little horde of fun circles that are just sitting there waiting. Because there's, you know. I was going to print one side on that one because I'm like, that has my name on the back of it. Hmm. Oh, that might be what was printed on the front side with the actual ephemera. Is. I'm like, why is my, na my name on it? I have a lot of that. So we're going to make a mark so I know where to go. It's getting extremely windy out here since I am definitely filming ahead. We definitely got um, not so much a storm, but we got we got this weird um, what's the word weather front come back through. You know, not even going to be 50 degrees today, and um, you know, it's super. It's like sunny, but it's windy, which I do see some clouds coming in. They said there was a small chance of rain. I was like, really? Okay then. Oh. I know. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I really love it. Um, of course, you know, actually I technically filmed it and then just hoped everybody would want to see more. So, well, if not, I don't put it out, you know? Or it could be a lost video later, or <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just thought I'd be cra crafty with it and see where it went, but I'm hoping you guys all want to see more and see how this turned out and before we go on to the next project, which God, I don't even know what the next project's going to be yet. I really don't. I have plenty to do. I'm not going to do. I don't really want to do little stuff. I feel like we need to start a journal. We're getting into spring, so I feel like I need to pull out the wildflower stuff and get that started. Like I feel we need to. If we're going to do ephemera, it needs to be ephemera for those kits and you know, get, decide what we're using for covers and get that taken care of and tweaked because we are definitely at that point where we need to get some journals done for people to use this, uh, this year. So we get into spring and at the everyday world and for us, everyday world has a lot of botanicals and florals and pretties. So we want to, you know, have those ready to go and then putting it the delicate side up. And we're going to do this, which is not easy to see. It is on that bumpy, snowy effect that we get all from Dollar Tree. Um, our Dollar Tree has got a fad of things going right now where we have this mesh stuff in all kinds of colors. Um, I've got the bright like Christmas green. I've got the sage green. I've got a, like a uh, cranberry red. I've got a pale pink. I have a blue, <laughs> like a pale blue, like Christmas blue. Um... So, yeah, I have a number. My mom has way more than I think that I do. Um, but, yeah, I have certain colors that I definitely want to use. So that's super cute. I feel like there should be a small word up here then. 
which I have. Let's see, do I want to go? I feel like we should stick to the creamy stuff. Mm. Fox glove, huh? Well, maybe grow would be the better word then. Or bloom. Oh, I had bloom. Let's do bloom. I like bloom. And well, I got distressed, I've got beautiful, and I got bloom. Now these can be left, as you see, as a square. Um, and I really don't want to be spending too much time more fussy cutting, so I'm going to go really, I'm going to cut it pretty close. But um, I normally have a tendency of cutting out um, all the excess and um leaving it very ornate and um following like i cut out and around this stuff so you have these four cornered um ordeals but we're running out of time so we're not out of time yeah we're running out of time so i didn't want to spend all day fussy cutting something in front of you i want to actually get it decorated and you know some of this is definitely on the fly as i'm thinking about it i'm just grabbing my supplies and we're decorating it right Using the stash up, finding the things that I have in my desk. The whole point of organizing all this stuff is so that I could, um, <laughs> I can use it. I want to use it. All right, so we're going to, um, yeah, that works. We're gonna put that up there. Ugh. And later, I will probably find some kind of string to um, go through that and add the edges to it. So let's go over here. Let's hope that. Oh, that worked. Didn't leave too big of a knot. So that's pretty. I have a yellow something for that. So yellow or purple, we'll put up there. All right, so there it is, nice and look. And you can write on the back. I know it's a little bit of dots, but totally writable. It goes in here. I've got April for right now because I like the coloring um, in here. Now it depends on the time. You know, for me it's April. I may decide I need that. I need that April thing for something else, and I'll swap it out for the purple one or for March or. Because the purple March one would be pretty in here too. For right now, we're just gonna do April and bloom so it becomes a pocket behind the tag. Love it, right? And I was talking about the flowers, so let's do that. That one's pretty, but I get squished. I have this gorgeous thing, but I have to cut the back of it really good. Because if I left the hole, oh, I didn't think about that. That would have been cute. But it would stick out. It really would have. Oh, there's no hole in that one. Well, that's why that takes care of that from. I'm like, wait, no, it. Um, I don't want to do yellow. I can do peach. I'm going to do a peach one up there, huh? Hmm, that is bright. Yeah, I have a whole horde of, of flowers, and they are very bright, and I'm like, ugh. They're a little brighter than I would like. And it looks like it should be light-colored, and then you put it on there, and you're like, hmm, that doesn't go. Don't get me wrong, that is very bright. So, I take that back. We could keep up with that reddish-pink coloring. I could put the hot pink there, because it pulls from this and that. Really red on this color, minus the purple here. And it's just something else, though. I mean, it's just something else. I mean, could just continue on with a flat yellowy. Okay. I don't know. I'm think that that is my first addition. Is just to keep it, <laughs> keep it to the same color. I can't help myself. I have heavier things. It has a Paris on it. These are my other ones, but they're very bright or just too modern. I have other things, but I think they're too modern. Got a purple butterfly, but again, it's the printouts, prints of them. Um, it's a button, but that wouldn't be bad either to put it on there. I mean, it would stick up, but like it's nothing that's getting in the way. But I like the Paris one actually. I actually like the Paris one, I think, better. Okay, we'll, do, we'll try for that. I don't use these very often. No clue where you should, I mean, want to use them. So let's put them to good use, right? I like the idea of this one here, actually. With the writing and just the beige color with a hint of, of flowers behind it. You really can't tell what they are. That works, ladies and gentlemen. Cool. All right. Ugh, everything's in there. So, and let's see if the cutting it down. Oh, made a huge difference. Okay. So a little something sticks out, but not super obvious. All right, um, what else? Let's see, how are we doing? Oh, yeah, my time is like 10 minutes up. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we have more of this, which I was debating on something. Oh, maybe down here is um, adding a little bit of something. Which this is a little bit like you could rip it. You sort of can. Ooh. 
never really tried to rip it before, so I was like trying to find another way to add some layering. But I sort of want to like, I have a thought here, but I have to figure out what I want to do with it. Maybe not back there. Mm, but when you do that, you do lose stuff. Okay, I wanted a bit of ripped glitter over the flowers up here, for sure. This does rip, just not as, um, not as you'd expect to. Oh my god, the glitter that just went everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna go outside. Okay, so, um, I want glitter following the edge. We're gonna have to trim it in. I do want that rough look. I don't want it super, like, perfect in any way. So we'll end with this. I will add some glitter up here before I get all this other stuff. I would definitely want it to, um, I don't know, just have some f movements and layers. Not movement, I guess. It wouldn't be really movement, but definitely want some layers. But who knew when you ripped that, you'd have all that glitter everywhere. I should have known better. Oh my goodness. All right, let's cut this up a little bit more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I'm still not done, but it's okay. Um, on the next video, you will get the reveal. Um, when I start my next project, I will quickly jump on and you know, be like, hey, look what I did. This is what we worked on. <laughs> Here's what we did. Here's how it turned out. Um, I will let you know the little in, you know, little bits because I wanted that lace to this thing still. There's a lot I still want to do and I'm nowhere near there. Um, yeah, there's a lot of little things I want to add everywhere. So, a little bit up there. Um, I thank you all for joining me and watching me add new layers and finishes up and figure out where we're at and uh, just having fun with it. You know, it's like you can get all the goodies in it and do all these things and just have fun with your stash, have fun with your projects, you know, leftovers, things that we have going. Um, it, you know, it's just taking care of oneself and enjoying the, the journey and making sure that you get everything you need out of your crafts. Whether it's solid, solitary time, whether it's a moment to be crafty and creative, a release from your everyday work or everyday um, stresses. I know how that goes. And um, I really hope this inspired, encouraged, um, was just something fun to watch and do, you know, because you needed somebody to put you to sleep. I don't know. <laughs> it's all good, but continue to like, love, comment, please. Um, let me know you're there. Let me know what's up. Um, I thank you again for watching. Don't, you know, make sure you click down below in the show more or the triangle and uh, find my social media links so that you know where to find me as things continue to progress. And let's see anything else. Not that I can think of. I think I'm done. I think I'm out. I mean, I'm not done. But I think you're done. You're done. We're good. I love you all. I really appreciate everything um, for coming along and tagging along and watching all of this. And we will just see you um, next, no, not next week, later this week, hopefully. Yes, later this week. There will be a Thursday video with a new project. And we'll get, we'll get looking through either my purple, personal purple journal, or we'll start on the spring um, wildflower journals that I started back, um, last year and we need to get back to those too. So plenty to work on and I love you all. And thank you so much for coming and we will talk real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.